guys welcome back to my channel I hope you're well I hope you're having a lovely week if you're new here then hey my name's Jodie and if you're not then thanks for returning to the channel so today I thought we would bring back an old favourite and try out a new tan I feel like it's really good before you try a tan out or before you spend your money and potentially waste it to see someone else use it and see what they think about it so that's what we're going to be doing today so we're going to be doing an unsponsored first impressions review of Bondi Sands. So this is the Bondi Sands self tanning foam and I've got mine in dark. Without giving anything away, I've got it on right now. This is me just doing a little cute intro to the video while I look semi presentable. So we're going to try out the tan, see what we think about it, the application, the wash off process, transfer, longevity, blah blah blah, colour, streakiness, the whole shebang and then you guys will know whether to basically buy it or not i will link it in the description box if i recommend it so if you're excited for today's video then of course as always give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below it would mean so much to me if you could but without further ado let's get into the video i'm going to share with you my, all my tanning essentials how i apply it and basically how i get a good tan fingers crossed so i hope you enjoy the video guys so we've come into the bathroom i'm going to give you guys a quick before because i literally feel like casper the ghost so Face, hands, I literally scrubbed off two nights ago. Stomach, super bile. Tan essentials for me. Obviously, the tan. A good moisturiser. I really love the Sand and Sky Tasmania. The, st the Sand and Sky Tasmanian Spring Water. And this is like the Wonder Body Lotion. It's like this. And it feels like water going on. Like it's so nice. I don't like a sticky moisturiser. And that is unreal. For my face, I've been loving this St. Moritz um, Miracle Glow Face Tan Serum. It's so nice. It's literally just like a really thick serum. You put it on your face. And it builds up to be the most gorgeous tan. For like no makeup days. Unreal. And then brushes. So I always put my hair in some sort of scrunchie. This is the one I've chose today. This big brush is by Naked Glow Cell Tan by Love Kimberly. And if you guys have watched one of my tan videos before, you know I swear by like a little kabuki brush by this, like this. And Coco and Eve's one is really good. It's just like really thick. And to do the hands and the neck and like the feet and even like round the face. It's so nice. And then I also swear, so many of you messaged me since I've told you about doing a brush on your chest. Like, oh my God, it actually stuck. So if you struggle, shut the window, I feel like I'm echoing. If you struggle sometimes to keep tan on your chest, you need to use like a brush of some sort. I don't know what kind of magic it does, but it just makes it stick way better. So I was using this one, but obviously it's quite small. So to do your whole chest, it takes quite long. But then I found this big fat one look and this literally does the same and it's so nice like you can even go over your arms to make sure you're completely straight free if you wish. And then fake tan me, I swear by my filter one, I really love it, um, I love the thumb hole, super comfy, <laughs> not that that is <laughs> really a big thing but it's just really soft and um, I think I've used this one since washing it so it's not super dirty but I have tried to get in the habit of sort of washing them now and again. So those are my tan essentials. Let's try Bondi. I'm going to put my hair up in a little bun. Okay, so like I said, I'm a pale queen. So what I normally do is put this moisturiser on my knees. Only a little bit on my knees, but on my knees and more specifically my elbows. I feel like... We all have different areas of our body that get like a little bit more dry and the tan clings to them. And for me, it's definitely my elbows. Haven't quite perfected the perfect tan on my elbows, but it's fine. And then I'm also just gonna rub some on like the back of my foot and sort of my ankle area. Again, it just tends to cling, but the brush does help. But this is so fast drying. I am not good at um, moisturising every day. I literally never do. Um, but this dries so fast, it doesn't make it so bad. And then also, I've been getting this like weird patch on my neck every time I've tanned. So, 
I'm just gonna put a little bit of moisturizer here because I don't really know why, but I've literally been getting like a strip of patchiness, which is just so annoying because it's literally the one place really you want it to be completely seam free. Okay, so before we don't flash a nip, the bra is staying on. Okay, smell test, colour test. Be ready. Give you guys the close view. Oh! Oh my god, that smells incredible. I love smelling tans, and that smells really fruity. It really, colour-wise, it reminds me of St. Moritz, like um, medium. If that means anything to you, okay. On the arm we go. Oh my god, that's... I'm, I'm going to be honest, I do love an orange tan. <laughs> Mum always likes me to have like a natural tan, but I like an orange tan. And this has a really nice like orangey, brownie undertone. That's so nice. See, it's already clung to my... Actually, that's not okay. I was trying to make sure my elbow's okay. I sort of just like bend it and rub it in. That's a gorgeous colour. And it's like fast drying. Okay, so difference. That's the arm difference from one layer. That's incredible. Love that. That's gone on super nice. I'm going to do my belly and then I'm going to come back to my chest so I can use the brush. Oh my god, it's so nice. It's, I love a tan that like looks like the colour I naturally tan, if that makes sense. And this is giving me that vibe already. I am normally a medium girl though, but I thought I would try dark because at the minute I feel like when I get into summer, I do want to be a little bit darker than medium. So I've been applying two layers most of the time. So I thought maybe I should try dark. Okay, that's the stomach and that's the colour difference. Right, let's do the other arm and then we can go on to the chest. Can't get over the smell. I'm sorry, look at that. That is literally, you can really see the colour there when it goes on. So nice. Oh, dropped mine a bit earlier, it's got a bit of stuff on. Right now, I'll do my chest so I can show you. So I'm just going to a little bit on my mitt like this and then I'm just going to grab this big kabuki brush like that and literally just see how much darker the colour goes I feel like the mitt does like absorb so much colour but when you do it just with the brush you keep like all the colour So I just blend it out. Obviously here I'll get the mitt back out. I'm going to do my armpits quickly because last week I forgot to do my armpit and I didn't realise until I was vlogging I could see that I had like a huge circle from where I hadn't blended my tan. Look at that. Told you it was a good hack. I'm quickly going to do my neck while we're here. So let me just give this brush a wipe. I'm just going to put a little bit on the little brush like this and then blend it in with that tan. And 
and this is I actually can't cope I feel like that looks so good I cannot cope remember to do the back of your neck too while you're there okay hopefully that will develop nicely right onto the legs and then I'll do like <laughs> the forbidden areas off cam obviously on we go leg difference look at that you can really see on my feet obviously i haven't done my feet yet that is the difference of leg right body is pretty much done i was going to do two layers but i think i'm just going to see how it develops with one because we don't want to be too dark i don't like to be too dark i just like to be nice so um i'm gonna do my hands my feet and my face let's talk hand tan so i'm gonna get a little bit of moisturizer literally like that and i'm just gonna put half on this the top of this hand and i'm just gonna give it like a quick moisturize we don't want to be like super moisturized but just so it doesn't cling so much okay then you're gonna need a kabuki brush and the tan so i'm gonna put a little bit literally like that and maybe a little bit that dissolved quite quick just like a little dollar and then i just put it on the hand like this and literally just blend it in literally like you would foundation that's what i always think and i just go around like every finger like this and i do all the inside and i do it like that so i don't miss any little crevice so i go all the way around the same with the thumb and do like this bit and then give i just give this bit like a quick tan obviously you look a bit silly if it's white and you look a bit silly if it's super dark so i just give it a quick and then i put my hand like that like you would show me nails but flip it over and then i go in all of the knuckles and if I feel like I need a bit more tan, I just like tap it on the mitt. And I literally just like stamp it on almost on every knuckle. And then just give me a little overall blend. And then that should pretty much give you a flawless hand tan. So this is the difference. Really nice. Obviously your hands um fade quicker because they're obviously more in water like if you're washing up or whatever like washing your face um but what i have started doing is wearing gloves which is super good for your nails and obviously really good for your tan too so there's a little recommendation from jodie perfect and then it's a very similar um concept with the feet so a little bit on the brush blend it in with the leg tan and then I normally just wipe my nails after especially now that this like French tip it does stain a little bit so in the toes sorry if you hate feet feet are nice and tanned and that is literally the tan application done. First impressions, I'm not sticky at all. I smell lovely. I feel like it's gone on really evenly. Um, it's got like a nice guide colour, which is nice, but not like super dark. Um, and I think it gives like off a nice glow. And the fact it's dried so easy, like this could almost be a nice like instant tan. Like if you give yourself half an hour, you could probably get fully dressed and go out, which is nice. That's a bit better light so you can see the actual 
colour. But I will come back when I am a little bit darker and more developed. It's the next morning. I am about to wash this tan off. I'll give you guys a proper colour, but um, I will say it transferred quite a bit to start with. I sat and did my makeup and like I sat on a towel um, and I don't know if it's sort of on my t-shirt. The pillow was white and then it literally turned red, but my bed sheets haven't really um, got much colour on. So I think it's just the initial like hour or two it transfers a little bit. Um, and it's a bit on my t-shirt but that's fine because it always happens because I'm a big dribbler so the face but that wasn't even Bondi so this is what the hands are looking like super even which is really nice it's a lot more like orangey in person I would say but really nice this hand I have dribbled on my arm which I do literally every time I put tan on but it will be fine in the shower legs let's try this is the colour of the legs, not super dark, but really nice again, like no patches. Um, it's gone on nice on the feet. It was really hot yesterday, so I was a bit sweaty, but it literally, like, we've held the sweat, which was nice. The feet are literally perfect, which is really good. So this is the colour of the stomach. It's, like, really nice. I would say it's probably, like, a medium. Like, I wouldn't want to be any lighter, considering this is dark. This is the back. Yeah, I would say like I wouldn't want to be any lighter considering this is shade dark. And um, I'd say this is probably more of a medium, but I mean, this is how we're looking. So I will wash off and um, just check it in to show you the color. So we're washed off and I also moisturized and I've left it a couple hours just to see if it would sort of develop any more after my shower showering not a lot came off as you saw like it came off greeny um but i mean it doesn't look green whatsoever but that was like the color that came off but not a lot came off which was nice because sometimes i feel like you look a color and then you shower and then you end up like going three shades lighter that did not happen i'm exactly the same shade this is the color of the hands I'll give you guys a close up, but the arms are super nice and brown. I feel like it's a very natural tan, which I like, but I would say, I don't think it's dark. I would say this is definitely a medium, but I didn't put two layers on and it did say to do that. For like the deepest tan, but this is the stomach. So I wouldn't say it's like super, pardon me. So yeah, I wouldn't say it's a super dark tan, but I do like it personal, on a personal level. I like the colour for sure. It's all very even. I don't smell, which is nice. Um, I've got like no patches other than that, which I just noticed, which is annoying, but I think that's, that's application. It hasn't clung to the knees, which is nice. It's literally all the same colour. The feet are perfect. So that's the, let me get this way. This is the colour of the legs. I feel like a super nice natural colour. But this is the colour in the sunlight. Really nice, but I don't feel like it's too dark where you look crazy. Okay, so in order to give you guys like a proper full review, I will check in maybe in a couple days once I've had a few showers and see how it wears in the gym, if I sweat it off very um, easily, like if it fades, blah, blah, blah. We'll sort of look at the duration of the tan. But so far, I really love it. Like I said, if you're into like a super dark tan, then it, this maybe isn't for you. Maybe you want to put two layers on, but for me personally, this is perfect. But yeah, definitely more of a medium, I would say but really nice. I feel like really nice. I don't feel, um, you know, you can feel a little bit grubby. I don't. So I will check back in with you guys in a couple days, let you know how it's lasting with the gym and showering and all that good stuff. Check in time. So this is Monday. So I applied the tan on Thursday. So Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. This is the five day check in and honestly, I love it guys like, I genuinely think this could be a new like go-to for me look at my hands they literally haven't deteriorated I've just jumped out the shower and I haven't even moisturized um 
like all my chest is fine i have like slightly lost color there but i always do i think it's just like as i sweat my arms are still like a really nice color and my legs let me show you my legs look at the color of my legs still super like dark still no patchiness they definitely need a shave but um the feet have stayed lovely and it was really hot on friday to the point where i was literally sweating um and i was scared that my tan was going to sweat off but it literally didn't yeah i was really worried on friday because it was like freshly applied tan and it was so hot i was literally dripping with sweat and i was like oh no like this tan is gonna fuck up bad and i had like strappy sandals on i was really worried but we're all completely fine it's crazy so i am in love with this tan i'm going to ib from friday and i'm generally tempted to do like a light layer i don't really know what to do but yeah five days so i normally leave my tan on for around like six to seven days and um, i like to do a weekly tan so i would start to scrub off maybe tomorrow um, and then maybe reapply on wednesday so i really love it guys it's approved i'll link it below the one that the exact one i used and yeah approved 100 percent like really good longevity like hasn't gone patchy it didn't really transfer it's even it's like lasted really well considering i've like showered and worked out and whatever and it's been super sunny so yeah definitely definitely approved by me approved by me <laughs> um yeah so thanks for watching guys let me know if you want me to test out any other tans i've also tried out filter and coco and eve so i'll also link those below so you can go and watch my reviews of those if you do need some little tan inspo but definitely shop this tan like if you see it pick it up order it i'll link it below really good guys so thanks for watching if you did enjoy of course smash the thumbs up button and as always subscribe it would mean so much to me if you did and i'll catch you guys on thursday with a new video Bye, guys.